All right, uh, we are in the next tutorial. This new tutorial will uh, show you how to install uh, Pinball X from head to toe. Um, we are going to use um, a previous version of Pinball X, not the, the latest one, it's up on the website, but the previous one, then I have uh, downloaded the use for, for a long time. It's stable, it doesn't give me any problem. It's the version. 1.3.28 so let's go and let's start with the installation uh, of course I'm using uh, LCD screen all the way around uh, I can show you three way or four way if you split the DMD with the DMD and a top of combo so just uh, see if top P2 DMD support if you don't have P2 DMD uh, Leave it unchecked, so I'm leaving unchecked. I have a regular uh, uh, LCD screen, so not pin to DMD. Create a shortcut on your desktop, next, next, and proceed with installation. Okay. Wait a few seconds, okay, and now we can uh, proceed with the uh, setup of uh, Pinball. Okay, let's close everything. Uh, let's set this one up a little bit more. We don't need to be that close. And also, let me adjust the resolution because I'm uh, in 4K right now. And honestly, I know it can be too small for you guys to see it. So let's adjust the resolution to uh, my screen one and this a one fifty. Okay, uh, this should make it easier for you guys to see it. Okay, so we choose the advanced settings. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, leave this alone. Leave this alone. General settings. Okay, over here. No, no, disable is correct. Yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, and yes, leave everything the way it is. Display settings. Okay. Now, over here. Is your play field display number one? Choose display number one. Whatever is your is your uh, your display. 270, back glass is the display number two. Yes, don't forget. Don't forget always to have the, the screen set up this way. All line up from the top. One next to each other. Especially for pinup player, okay. If you are going to use pet packs, uh, let's go down here. Now display two. Use uh, direct uh, B2S one ten. No. Uh, yes. DMD enable. Yes. We are using the DMD. The DMD is on display number three. No, no, no. Full screen. No. Yes. The three. Perfect. I don't like yellow. I choose blue over here. So let's double check. Is everything is correct? Okay. My bag glass is on display number two, 1920 by 1080. Correct. Same thing. Always check the resolution of your screen, 1920 by 1080. And my DMD is also 1920 by 1080. So. If you are going to use now down here DMD, the entire DMD, okay, uh, the entire DMD, put 1920, put the DMD resolution 1920 by 1080. By 1080. If at the moment, I will leave the topper off. Next step will be the topper. Let's say no, okay. Um, our topper will be always on display three because I'm I'm splitting uh, my my uh, DMD and the topper. So uh, we go there in a minute. Let's go to the next step. Audio, leave the way it is or adjust the way you want it. Uh, I will leave this one on the default. GameX Online, yes. If you have an account with them. Just for download your media or stuff like this, just 
user UID, user ID or password, start up. This is very important. Uh, uh, if you like Pinball X to play some music, when it starts play yes, I will show the difference, yes or no. Uh, honestly, my is now, either way, it's going to play a sound when you launch Pinball X. Uh, run Pinball X when uh, Windows start, this is yes. If you want Pinball X to start and Windows start start, okay. Launch a program, you don't need that one. But this one must be checked, yes. Keyboard, leave the way it is. Just take a picture, take a note, where your keys are, okay? Especially escape to ask, left and right, uh, keys to uh, to move around, you enter to select, uh, and blah, blah, blah. Just take input, that's very important. Now, I already uh, know what do I have, so test control, call controller, okay? controller and to set up USB game controller. I have a virtual pin controller properties and let's check your the numbers or the key the you have okay and what they belong to. I already done this one for you guys. Uh, you can see better these numbers over here. Those are the buttons that I have mapped and they are right here uh okay so i have those ones my flipper is my button number 10 right flipper is by number two left money save 11 by right money save three coin is a button number 12 start is number nine exit is number eight extra ball number 14 and lunch ball number one uh something really important uh, open visual pinball and open future pinball because I'll show you in a second on my future pinball keys of course left flipper, left flipper, left minus save, right minus save, X uh, ball buys in uh coin credits start game okay but exit game I did not assign any button over here. I will leave the front end, I will leave Pinball X uh, run the exit game. The way there will be 90% a guarantee there will be a conflict. So I did not configure any, any uh, buttons on uh, Visual Pinball X. The same thing with the future pinball uh, key. I did the same thing over here. Exit table, none. I did not set any keys from my uh, from my controller. Uh, say that now we are going to uh, go up here and I quit. Will be my exit button left would be my left flipper, right would be my right flipper, start or select would be my start button, rotate, I don't need any keys assigned to rotate, so clear, page up or page down would be my magnet save, so page left would be my left magnet save, to skip from a letter to another one, and the other one will be my right minus save. All right, the exit emulator, they will be my, the, my exit button over here. So I'll quit and exit must be the same. But see, button number eight, button number eight, pause. I don't have any pause button over here, so clear. Instruction clear, whatever you don't need it. Credit would be my coin button, and it would be this one. Plunger, leave it alone. At this one, leave it alone. 
make sure that we have everything correct up here. So I'll quick left right to start, nudge, nudge left to right, uh, exit simulator, credit is our coin, the plunger, no, we don't need the plunger. Okay, text appeared. Free play per stop featuring that's like when you launch Pinball X on the bottom on the main page of Pinball X, you will see a message scrolling. Okay, you can change this message over here, you can put whatever you want. Let's start configuring our system. Future Pinball, yes, I have Future Pinball set up, so yes, it's to working path. Working path of Future Pinball, uh, guys, it's important to remember it's BAM. You can now run Future Pinball if you are not installing BAM. So go on your computer, uh, this PC, C. I have everything. If you follow my previous tutorial in C games, Future Pinball, BAM, boom. That's the first one. Table Pack, there will be same thing in C, uh, games, Future Pinball, tables. That's what my tables are, okay. My X file is not Future Pinball, my FP Loader. That's what you guys need to use to launch any Future Pinball table. FP Loader, it's in the BAM folder, FP Loader, okay. This parameter is correct, except the arcade render needs to be replaced to stay in run. Okay, this is very important. You need to replace arcade render to stay in RAM. And the FP RAM path, it's also on the future pinball, uh, right here, future pinball FP RAM. FP RAM, okay. See, future pinball have FP RAM. There's a folder in future pinball FP RAM. This folder over here, it's important. That's, uh, that's what you're gonna set up. Uh, the launch before is for uh, future DMD, okay? Uh, if you're using a three screen, you need to have future DMD. That's whatever you guys install future DMD. I install future DMD inside my, uh, there it is, inside my uh, future pinball folder. So this would be C games future pinball, okay? The X file would be, uh, Would be of course uh, future DMD, okay. Uh, lunch before parameter, there would be table equal quotation square parentheses table file table file. Square parenthesis, quotation, space, close, equal one. Okay. This would be no. Flip those around. And yes. Okay. Take a second. Take a picture of this one. So it would be yes. C games, future pinball, whatever you install, future DMD is the exe. That's the parameter. Equal, close one. No. Yes. Everything is state. Visual pinball. This is for VP9, it's already set up. I don't have it right now at the moment. Okay, so say now, I have Pinball FX2, Pinball FX3, Pinball Arcade over here. If you have it already, select yes and work this stuff around. Other system. Main is there by default, leave there. Now, let's select the next one, it will be two. Name would be our visual symbol X, of course. Enable, yes. What kind of system is visual pinball? Working path, whatever you guys in stuff. So we'll be in games, visual pinball. Okay, whatever, which, whatever the folder visual pinball is. Tables, the same thing. Let's go select where our tables are. So we'll be Visual Pinball table, okay? Our X file, of course, we gotta go select the right X file of Visual Pinball, that would be VPX, 
the symbol X. Parameters. That's a piece of cake. Go back for a second on the visual symbol on the line. Copy this line, the parameters. Copy. Go back on other system. Parameters. Paste. Okay? And you guys are all set. You guys are, are all done. Video recording. Okay. There is a great program to record in your media. It's called PBX Recording. PBX Recording. You can record all your stuff. Um, you can set this up. I never use this one. Okay. And you guys can select left out and left side together or whatever just to start recording and to stop recording, okay? But with uh, PBX recording, you can select uh, all the media that you want. Just go on, on Google, open Google, uh, type PBX recorder, PBX recorder, and there it is. PBX recorder. Okay. Remember, you need to create an account to download is free to sign up. And up here, you can have all the uh, explanation how to do that. Okay. How to uh, record your, your your stuff. Great tools. Okay. You guys can record your own media. If not, always this community uh, is full of people that really share. Uh, their passion and their time. There are some mega links with the play field, with the back glass, with the wheels, different kind of set of wheels, also table audio, table lunch for your DMD. Uh, just go to VP Forum and you guys can find uh, some collection of DMD. Same thing up here. Login, uh, create an account, it's free. Okay, I download your, your uh, DMD video clip uh, from there. Okay, attract mode. I say yes. Uh, so I score yes. Uh, after how many minutes? Let's say you don't use Pinball X for three minutes, two minutes, one minute, then the attract mode. Okay, it will randomly pick up a table and then will show all the media on the table. Show table four, so. I will show the table for 15 seconds, and then they move to the next one. You want to increase this one? Okay. Put whatever you want. Show the table for 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, whatever it is. Auto exit at the moment. Leave everything by default. Okay. You don't need to change anything. Let's set up to no. Everything left. Now verify the setup. Go down here, click on verify. All right. Future pinball pass, no error. Okay, visual pinball, of course, we didn't set up. We got some red stuff. We, we didn't find anything. Uh, pinball FX2, pinball FX3, pinball K, he didn't find anything because I didn't set up anything. At other system, we are good. Pretty much we are finished. When we are done, never click this one. Even if it looks like a check mark, there was cancel everything that we are done and set you back to the default. Now we gotta close, every time you make a change, just close with the X. Boom, done. We are ready to launch our Pimbo X, okay? So let's close this one. Let's put our screen back to the normal scale, 100%. Okay, make sure we are on all three screens so you can see. Okay, play field, uh, tutorial, back glass, and, uh, um, and DMD as let's launch Pinball X. Welcome, Welcome to, to Pinball, Pinball X. X. Star Trek. Oh, we have everything set up correctly. Space. We have our the final, final frontier. frontier. Everything works fine. The Star Trek is a table that Kimball X got by default, okay? Well, I don't have this, that, that table set up. So, 
okay we are done we should have three screen like you guys see uh, and was our uh, last our uh, our DMD and our back plus. Okay, now, let's say that we have, we have, we want to split the, the, uh, the back plus with the topper. Okay, we need to go back to settings. Like, we don't have this one on, send to, desktop create a shortcut okay so the setting would be over here also if you guys don't want to hear the guy's voice okay uh, let's go back uh, display settings again uh, let's go to 150 for a second if you keep the voice on their voice will call the name of every table while you're scrolling in the menu. If you go on Plugins Manager and you uncheck Pick uh, Game Names, their voice will disappear. That's the way I like it. Okay? Now, at this point, when you guys are installing uh, the front end, we are assuming that you have everything correctly set up. So if I'm going to launch a table, uh, I'm going to have DMD backlash and uh, and uh, DMD and play field correctly set up. Okay, so let's stop at 24. The launcher. Okay, like you guys can see it, I'm ready to split my uh, my uh, DMD monitor into the DMD and the topper. So uh, let's give this info to uh, to uh, Pimbolex. So, like I said, at this point, I'm pretty sure uh, you guys have your DMD. Uh, Freezy DMD uh, already uh, correctly set up. Let's go back on the on the, on the play field and let's zoom up one more time. Perfect. Enough. That's a, that's the 4K stuff. All right. Put this lower. BP uh, Mame uh, DMD device door INI open okay we need our number so let's go back on settings and let's go on display setting okay so now our dmd okay that's pretty easy i was 1920 by 1080 i am splitting in the half that would be what 1920 by 560 by 60 is uh, 1080, 540, 540 is half of 1080, okay? That will give me uh, my DMD. And X and Y, X and Y should be changes too. Because now we're moving the DMD on the bottom part and the uh, top on top of the DMD. If I leave like this with X and Y as a zero, okay, and say this one, you're going to uh, launch symbol X, make sure that everything is correct. Let me put all two screens first. Okay, the launch pinball X. All right, our DMD is on top. So now we got to... Space, the final frontier. 
okay how do we do that it's pretty easy um, I want to go back to uh, our uh, symbol X display setting 150 and on the main screen. All right, let's open settings in Pinball X and go on display settings, uh, put Y and 541. That will shift the DMD uh, down one uh, to, to the correct position let's just put on the DMD screen for a second and launch it symbol X there it is okay. we, got that. Uh, we get that one now go back on our uh, play field and go back on our um, Settings. I set up the topper. Uh, display settings. Now the topper would be yes. Always on display number three, and now always would be a 1920 because we are usually we are using the entire width at 540. But we using this time the top part. X. Now we have uh, everything should be set up correctly. Symbol X. Looks like I have to put you on three screens so you guys can see the difference. We have three screens. Let's launch Pinball X. There it is. The topper is on top where it's a Pinball X Space. with a white background. The final the frontier. Pinball X with the dots. These are the images of the Starship Enterprise. The right. Okay, and this is it at the moment. Push the lock button. Okay. All right. Now we have uh, Pinball X uh, running. We configure three ways, three screens. Our fourth screen already. Now we need to import the table and we need to import the media. All right, so to import the table, we need to go on uh, uh, Game Manager. Let me uh, go back on the main screen and uh, raise this percentage to 150 so you guys can see better. All right. So we already found out Pinball X is the icon to launch the Pinball X. The settings is the match point for your settings. Now we need to find Game Manager. So my suggestion is go to Pinball X folder and send the Game Manager to your desktop because you will need it. Send to desktop, create a shortcut. Okay. Game Manager. There it is. Bring it down here. Game Manager. All right, Visual Pinball, this uh, default game we don't have, we can delete, you can delete. Same thing with Future Pinball, no, no. We see World Star Trek, delete that, it's a default. Let's go in Visual Pinball X. Uh, change the message, do you want to say, yes, uh, yes, there you go. And we have our tables, okay? That's all my tables in my uh, Visual Pinball table folder, okay? So that's the name of the file. Don't touch. This is the way you want to display the game on your front end. So it will be 24, Stern, 2019, Attack from Mars. Uh, there would be Valley, and there would be 1995. 
Remove all the things that you don't want it by girls. Okay. Bow by the back neck was 2017. Buck Roger. Okay. Cabaret, 1968. Creators from the Black Lagoon is probably 1992. Diablo, and now it's J.P. Sally. Let's say 2018. Uh, Diner, okay. Elvis, it's turned 2004. Then the Rose is back East, 1994. Eddie Potter, Eddie Potter. Is to 2020 by Scotty. Basically, whatever you want to do. Okay, and close. Okay, they said be changed. Yes, make sure you say yes. And let's go launch Pinball X one more time. Let's put this one back to 100. Make sure that we set all three tables. So three screen, and we're ready to launch our pinball X. Here we go. That's how it of course, we can do it, yeah. But let's make sure that our pinball X is working fine. At dash 24, bag glass, DMD, uh, play field, table work. The following takes place between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. America has been the exit button, everything was okay. Exit, not conflict. Perfect. Everything is set up correctly. Not conflict. The table is launching, the table is exit, and everything else. Okay. Media. Uh, media, let's go back on the main screen, uh, open uh, uh, Pinball X uh, installation folder, let's zoom, let's zoom back in, 150, okay, there is the media folder, okay, that is the media folder, open the media folder, you will find your system, okay. Remember, Visual Pinball is a VT9. We create Visual Pinball X. It's empty. So let's go grab the subfolders that we needed. Of course, they are all empty. From VT9, copy, and paste. All right. Background images, if you have a steady images, Backlash videos, if you have videos of your backlash, videos of your DMD, if you have images or images, okay. Same thing with the table audio, table launch, I will show you that too. And same thing, table videos, okay. Images, if you have just an images, an image of your play field or if you have a video, topper images, topper video, and the wheels, those are very important. So you guys can have some fun. You will find all these links in the description, okay? Uh, I'm not going to set up all these tables for you guys, but I want to show something because with, with if you download any of these videos, those videos are set up for Pinapapu. For uh, Pinball X, you need to rotate those tables. So I just downloaded two. Uh, standard download, so 24, and Attack from Mars. Uh, I'm going to set up two tables for you guys. Attack from Mars. Make sure that you select the right one. We I have the G5K version. That's biggest. That's Dozer. That's G5K. That's Crony. And JP Salas. So mine's supposed to be this one, the G5K. Standard download. I have the table audio. Let's go to table lunch for 24. So you guys can see the difference. Direct download. And attack from us. Direct download. All right. Let's make sure that everything uh, is set up. Oh. 
Is that loading the text from Mars? Yeah, it is. It's done. Okay. While we're working over here, in the meantime, my suggestion: video rotator, download. Uh, I don't know if you need to register or no. I don't see buying. No buy now. Mm, it's thirty dollars. It's a very good tool for what you guys need. I think it can record up to fifteen seconds for free and without watermark. All right, we downloaded our media. We download our attack from Mars uh, play field. See, the flippers are on the right side. That's for pin a popper. For uh, uh, pinball X, you need to have the flippers on your left side. Uh, remember, we saw a table from Future Pinball. So let's go on the media. Uh, Future Pinball uh, table videos. There was one by default. Okay, let me see. I don't have that. Okay, paste. Rename. If I can do dot before. I can download VLC at. Okay, see? It's on the left side. The, the flip is on the left side. So if you're running it, the videos for uh, Pinball X, we need to rotate the one we, that we just download uh, from the website, okay? And I rotate will help us doing that. Uh, another thing, the, all the media, they need to match the name of your table. So always open your uh, file location on the tables, okay? Uh, Use your Pinball table, so our Turn 24, rename, copy, rename, paste, rename, paste, attack for mass, the same thing, attack for mass, rename, Barry, G5K, rename, paste, rename, so these two were the other lunch. We are invincible. America has been victimized. Okay. So let's let's go put those files on our uh, media folder. So a pinball X open file location uh, media. Okay, for uh, Visual Pinball X launch audio. Let's grab these two files. And bring it over. All right. Uh, table videos. Let's grab these two files. And, oh no, we need to rotate those two files. See? Thank goodness. So let's open video rotator. Okay, add the file. There's my two files up here one and two. Select one, open. Okay, add file, select the second one, open, rotate 180 degrees, quality. Okay, if you're running a 4K, you want a high quality, 15,000 is good. For a 1080 rotation, 8,000, 1,200, they're more than enough, 8,000, rotate videos. Now it's working on these videos. Remember, our flipper were on our right side of the screen. After the rotation, we'll be on our left side. That's the correct position for uh, Pinball X. Okay? Uh, your file will be found in, in the C output, but the program will take us right there when it's done. And don't forget, we need to rename uh, the media always uh, the exact name as the table is saved on uh, rotation, rotation completed. completed. Rotation completed. Okay. Cancel. Close. So the original one. Remember that the original one. Flippers on the right side. 
This is the rotate one, flippers on the left side. That's what we need for pinball X. See the difference, okay? We can delete those, we don't need any more. And we still have my tables open, no. If I still have it, uh, launch, I did I put my name over there. So I'll type from Mars, the name, copy. Rene Paris. Let's turn Rene copy. Let's turn Rene paste. Okay, with these two files now go, they go on table videos. Table videos, right there. Beautiful. They are on position. What do we need now? We need our backlash videos, we need our DMD, our wheels, and uh, maybe the toppers. Okay. Uh, I know I saved some media somehow. Uh, let me see if I found PPX. From a previous, uh, I have the wheels. There it is, a back from Mars. And 24, the gods on wheels. Paste. And I also save my bag glass. Copy. Let's put them on the bag glass. Use a pinball. Bag glass videos. Paste. And uh, I don't have the DMD yet. DMD videos. You guys gotta just go ahead and download it. Okay. I don't want show you everything because it's, it's the same the same way you download the videos for the bag for the play fee you download the videos from the from the bag for the dmd and you put them in there topper 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 you can be found in online you can create your own um, i think i have some pictures let me see what i have over here dmd images yeah i created some images so steady i can use this for 24 uh, I can share this with you. I'll put them in the zip file so you guys have it. Okay, that, that's a good collection. I don't, I don't want to say that I have all, but okay. And uh, for Attack from Mars, as a topper at the moment, some top packs, they already got the toppers. But for the front end, you can put this one. This Attack of the Bench from Mars. So, okay, so we choose. Uh, so let's go on Visual Pinball X Media. Visual Pinball X Media. Uh, Topper images, okay? And select the back from Mars and 24. Copy and paste. Okay, so now we have the complete, uh, the most complete media of two tables. There are attack from Mars and 24. Let's go see how they look on our front end. Uh, let's change to three screen and launch it. Twenty-four. Of course the DMD is, is not there. Oh I'm missing the audio file, the table audio. And attack from Mars. See perfect day we we're missing the uh, audio file. So I'll go back, open file location. Let me go back on the main screen so you guys can see it. <sighs> main screen, media, visual pinball X, table audio. Let me grab it. the one that I saved previously. Table audio. Attack from Mars. Look out, Mars! Copy and paste. All right. Now we see the difference between table audio, table lunch. Uh, let's go back to our three screen setup and lunch pinball X again. Add the audio launch. The difference between the table audio and the launch audio. Uh, now, pinball X. 
this launch the table, the loading screen, you can personalize this one the way you want, guys, okay? That's just basic to have you up and running. And there it is, beautiful. The pop part is running, that glass, popper, TMD, beautiful. Everything is great. Okay. Now, 24 is a table with no pop packs, so it doesn't come with the topper. So when you launch right now, your topper will disappear. So now we gotta tell Pinball X to keep the topper on all the time. Okay? The table works fine, of course. We can launch the table. The following takes place between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. Jack, take oh. cover! Now we need to exit from the select and tell uh, under fifty percent. Go back on our uh, play field. So. Game Manager, go back on Visual Pinball X, and I topper must be unchecked. That's telling you, telling Pinball X, not I the topper. That means the topper must always stay on. When you launch the table, don't I the topper. See so up here is hiding everything. All the media must be hided. When you launch the table, if one of these ones are unchecked, they always stay on even after launching the table. So we need to keep the topper on on 24. I topper must be unchecked. Close and save. Yes. Okay. Go back on our 100%. And launch 24 again. 24 again. Three screen. Let's see if our topper now stay on when we launch 24. America has been victimized by terrorist attacks. Look, the topper is still on and will stay on. Place between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. Okay. Perfect. So, we already got this one up and running correctly. Let's go back to the main field and let's open up for a second. Uh, next step would be. Uh, for example, I said uh, we have a uh, future pinball set up, so game manager, add a new system, future pinball, okay, automatically, if we set up this correctly, pinball X, we found new tables already, say yes, okay, and your legacy ultimate, always keep the name of the table that you want to show on your front end. This is a demo, the count delete, delete, ram delete, robot invasion, okay. Demo, Star Wars Ultimate. Okay, so now we have that, that Star Assault. Name it the way you want it, okay. That must be always the, the same way that that's the name of your file. You say, but don't change this, but change the description, okay, the description. Close it, say yes. I'm going to show you something that you guys need to do the next step. Okay, go back to first of all our 100% uh, scale. Okay, three screen settings. The launch pinball X one more time. Now you find.
on Alien Legacy, uh, Blue vs. Pink, and on the on the play feed you see is a safe feed symbol of visual symbol pack. It will tell you exactly, okay, which uh, software you table belongs, okay? If you want to select just all the future pinball tables, not all the tables, or just the BTS tables, you should see the list. At the moment, we don't have it. We don't have the future pinball table list or uh, the uh, future pinball or BTX list. So we should go and create the list. All right, go back to our main screen for a second. And I increase the resolution, the, the zoom 150%, so you guys can see that better. Uh, let's go back on our game manager. Game manager, visual pinball, future pinball. No, because if I say yes, it will load the tables that we already say no. All right. Where main. Whatever. Go wherever you want to go. Okay. Manage groups. You gotta click over here. Manage groups. Okay. And now we need to create some groups. And if you go on your uh, uh, pinball access installation folder and you go on your media, there's nothing to say about the groups. Plan, you know, config, database. Okay, we need 12 groups. So, new group, enter. Would be visual pinball X. Make sure we type this correct. Okay, this one would be for visual pinball X. No visual pinball, so visual pinball X. Okay, add list. Here we go. Create a new one. Future pinball. Okay, make sure you go to PSL at future pinball. Add it. So now we have our group for future pinball and our group for future pinball X. So visual pinball X. Close, close. now we have the groups folder over here when we have future pinball a visual pinball so now if you're going to launch again uh, pinball X now we'll be able to choose which kind of tables we want to play future pinball or future pinball table but they are no longer the symbol like this. It will automatically update when you add more tables. X tables, and they are all our tables. Because everybody liked that, it's a great, great game from, uh, uh, from Scotty. Uh, you must have this game. So, uh, is everything set up correctly? This table will launch with all the pro packs, DMD, Douglas, Topper, uh, amazing. There you go. Perfect. Everything was great, everything was set up correctly, okay. Let me go back to the main screen, the play field. Oh, maybe I didn't launch the correct way. So let's do one more time, tutorial, okay. Let's launch, you guys didn't see it, sorry. Or maybe you did. So, uh, 
by Brand or the Gangsters, okay? Pat Rogers, or Girls, I can say it right now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.